I'm telling you today, today, Wallahi, my brothers, I had a very close friend of mine call me just the other day, just the other day. He says to me, my first cousin, 40 something years, 40 something years old. Never prayed in his life. Never fasted in his life. No deen, no nothing in his life. But like every single one of us, and no one is safe from this, you know. No one is safe from this. But like every single one of us, Brother, alhamdulillah, man, I have a good heart. I don't harm anyone. Yeah, look, you know what? Sure, there's a few shortcomings in my life. But overall, Allah, and look, Allah knows what's in my heart. True or not, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala knows what's in my heart. Forty-something years age of age, right? Wakes up in the morning, what was supposed to be a numb hand, goes to the doctor for a blood test, comes back home after a scan. Wallahi, he said to me, before he even made it home, the doctor calls him and says to him, come straight back. You have a tumor in your brain that's cancerous. My brothers, you have no idea how many of these examples, they're surrounding us here in this area. My brothers, what am I trying to highlight with this story? Really, my brothers, if we're not waking up now, when are we ever going to wake up? If this month of Ramadan that is only but a few days away, if this month of Ramadan doesn't change your life, really I'm honestly concerned for the both of us. When are we going to wake up? When are you and I going to wake up as believers and start to take life seriously? So the brothers come to him and naturally, you know, as wallahi, as anyone would. Ya akhi, you need to pull up. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, like look what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has done to you. Don't worry about your past. Pray, repent, turn back to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. You know, no, 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 no. And came up with every excuse in the world as to why he's not where he's supposed to be. And refused. Refused to repent. Not so much in his words as in, no, I will not. But he just wouldn't do it. You know what happened three days later, my brothers? Allah took his speech away from him. Now he can't talk. The man can't talk. And I think Allah, he's still alive. It's not for me to judge. I mean, if the man's repenting in his heart, well, then this is great for him. But wallahi my brothers, this for me, sharing this story is not about him. I'm not concerned about him. I'm concerned about me. I think, oh Allah, how will I leave this world? In what condition will I leave? Imagine Allah subhanahu He took his ability to speak. He took it. Why? Because Allah gave you a na'mah. Allah gave you a blessing and you didn't use it for what it was intended for. So my brothers, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gives you this beautiful life so you can make use of it and you don't use it for what it's intended for, then Allah can take it any time He wants. Allah subhanahu wa He can take it any time He wants. He took His ability to speak. 